Now, after years of planning and construction, a very new approach to the issue of homelessness launches today in Melbourne. Ozenham House aims to be a one-stop, all-inclusive super centre, if you like, to support the homeless and help them back into permanent accommodation. And as social affairs correspondent Norman, Norman Hermont reports, those behind the project have tried to think of everything. Australia has never seen anything like this homelessness resource centre that's opening today. When it comes to homelessness accommodation and support, it's bigger, it's more comprehensive, it's more ambitious than anything before. Ozenham House is a 10-storey homeless super centre. There's a medical clinic, a tech hub and a cafe, and that's just the ground floor. Going up. A little more than two years ago, after living in his car, Gary Leacurius stayed in the old Ozenham house, built with dorms in the 1940s and later basic facilities, until it was torn down to build this new version. Wow, no more shared bathroom. Shower, toilet. What's your reaction when you see a room like this? Places like this give people hope. Um, gives them a source of security, uh, safety. That's, I think. Everyone has the right to be safe. He's impressed, not just with the two laundries, but also with features like this room for homeless clients who may have nowhere else to store their possessions. You need a safe place, you know. You can't just drop your things by a tree and hope that nobody takes it because the world doesn't work that way. That's not the only storage. So we're heading into the learning and tech hub. Along with Wi-Fi access, clients will be able to back up documents, IDs, any crucial data on computers and phones. We want to make it easy uh, and safe for people to store those documents. And they go up. And they go up in the cloud. All of this, a $47 million investment from Vincent Care, the Victorian government and big charity donors. Not all accommodation here is temporary. On the top floors, they are finishing apartments for those who are homeless over 50. Many will go to women like Jan, who was homeless last year. When you see something like this, what does it make you think? I think it's wonderful. It's uh, somewhere somebody can feel safe, secure, and feel like perhaps there's an opportunity to move on with their lives.